the time is currently 6.53 in the morning. I'm awake, the birds are singing, and we're going to Middlesbrough versus Huddersfield today. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, 100 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. Bradford unfortunately won't be able to make it today because there's pretty much no travel, but yeah, hopefully it's a good game. Score prediction, I'm going to go 2-1 Middlesbrough. Both teams doing very well this season, so hopefully we can see a good game, decent atmosphere, all that sort of stuff. We're getting the half past seven train to Leeds and then the quarter past eight train to Middlesbrough, so we should be there quite early. Let's get into it. Certainly not a bad view for today's game. I'm not really too sure what this netting thing is. You'll have to let me know down in the comments section down below. But is this classed as a Yorkshire derby? Is Middlesbrough classed as in Yorkshire? I'm not really too sure. Or is it the North East? Uh, Huddersfield obviously got itself third in the table. Middlesbrough seventh, both challenging for the playoffs. Huddersfield challenging for automatics, but both teams have played uh, in the Championship. Everyone's ever played 40, 41, or 42 games. So it's going to be a good game today. Hopefully, there's lots of goals. Let's get into it. I can't help but think that this is just one massive slinky. Do you know what them toys that used to play with as a kid? It just looks like one of them, doesn't it? I don't know how it stays up as well. There's not really much structure to it. I don't understand what it is. Please let me know in the comments because it's really baffling me.
half time, 1 0 Huddersfield.
out back in Bradford, as much as it pains me to say, as a Bradford fan, Huddersfield were by far the better team today. I was really impressed with what I saw from Huddersfield, to be honest with you, defensively, they were, out, they were outstanding, throwing themselves in front of absolutely everything. Then on the counter-attack, they were always looking dangerous. Jordan Rose deserved his goal. One of the best centre-forward games I've ever seen, you know, the way he held the ball, brought others into play, I thought it was absolutely fantastic and, you know, kind of brought back the old Jordan Rhodes when he was last at Huddersfield, you know, about 10 years ago when he was absolutely banging goals in for fun in the Championship. From a Middlesbrough point of view, I was quite disappointed to be honest with you. I think they were, I was trying to work out what formation they were playing and I think, obviously, we know with Chris Wilder, he likes to play with his overlapping centre-backs, but I think he was playing full-backs at centre-back, a little bit like a FIFA rat, to be honest with you, and that's where the second goal came from. They were just so overcommitted up front and it kind of in the final third they were kind of crowding the area too much so players like Jones couldn't really get on the ball and attack or every time he did get the ball he looked to pass it rather than take people on which was clearly frustrating the Middlesbrough fans but Huddersfield I've got to give them credit they thoroughly deserved the win today Middlesbrough just simply not at the races but if you have enjoyed watching today's vlog make sure you drop a like on it 100 likes will be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already Bradford lost 3-0 today we played pretty much the second team Oscar Threlkeld had an absolute disaster class Got dragged off at half-time, Pawdy got sent off, not a great day at the office, I'm so glad I didn't go down there, and I definitely won't be going to Sutton after today's performance. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all very soon for another video. Peace.